What's up guys, Craig Mack here. So, having another removal. That's why my videos have been few and far between. I've just been killing it, working my butt off. Um, I'm out here at another one today. Got this decorative post wrapped in vinyl or PVC sheeting. It's completely hollow, just a couple of two by tens looks like, and then wrapped in this vinyl sheeting. Now, this is one of those things where you know, this looks like an easy removal and it pretty much, it should be pretty straightforward. But this isn't something that I recommend anybody get into just jumping in to cutouts uh, for reasons. This vinyl or this PVC sheathing is $125 a sheet. So if you can't remove this neatly and gently and be able to replace it, you're going to have to put $125 out of your pocket to get that material back on there and this is probably even more because it looks to be longer than eight feet so uh, you know be real cautious when when you're entertaining the idea of of doing a cutout work because it is not for everybody um, I get a whole truck full of tools and 20 years of experience in in construction that affords me the ability to do this um, if you got all that stuff go for it if not I'd be real cautious all right, so I'm going to open this up, get the rest of that trim off the top there so I can pull this front sheet and see what we got going. Okay, so like I said, this post is purely decorative. It's just fastened together in the corners with some one by inch and a half by inch and a half. As you can see, this piece of, jeez Louise, both of those pieces of comb just fell. Oh boy, some more just falling out of here. They have it built onto the front and back of this vinyl. So when I disturbed it, I must have relieved any of the uh, bonding that was going on. So now I got a bit of a mess to go through. Uh, I have a possibility of a squished or damaged queen. Uh, obviously this comb is soft, but it's full of brood, full of resources. And I'm going to see what I can do about saving it, but uh, my guess is that is not going to be what happens here. Uh, so I'm going to give this a few minutes to settle down and let them clean some of this up. Whoa, wind just blew the bees right in my face. Um, so yeah, we'll give them a few minutes to kind of clean this up and let it calm down and I'll start nosing around for my queen. Okay, so this is just a messy cutout. Uh, I had another piece of wax, another piece of comb fall. There's bees just soaking wet and honey down here all over the place. They're drenched. Uh, the queen could possibly be amongst them. So I'm trying to give them some time to clean themselves up. As you can see, there's just bees all up and down this. And into the cavity here. It was really heavy with honey uh, and brood. They got a lot of honey built, or a lot of comb built already. Um, there's only two or three pieces left to wax, but you know, like I said, this is a messy cutout, and I'm hoping that I can salvage the bees um, from this because they're doing a nice job and they're really pretty friendly, uh, all things considered. Um, they got a lot of brood in here. Still have a couple of pieces of wax connected, but again, like I said, I, I mean, you can see there's just honey dripping everywhere. Uh, and again, I, I don't know where my queen is. I'm hoping she's on the wax. Now, one nice thing I like to, to pay attention to is all the wax that f has fallen is mostly capped brood. So there's a good chance that the queen wasn't on any of this uh, because there's nowhere for her to lay. That is my hope. I'm hoping that she's not in one of these clumps of, of sticky soaking bees uh, or in the pile of puddly bees. Now, you might be able to see these bees, their abdomens are just humongous because they're full of honey from cleaning each other off. Uh, and it's going to take a little bit of time. So this one's going to take some time just to let them do that work. Uh, 
you know I'm gonna start to collect the bees shortly but there's a lot of bees on the ground that are just soaked with honey so I'm trying to give them time to get themselves cleaned up before I try to start vacuuming them because if I start vacuuming them when they're like this they're just gonna be a sticky clump of bees in my hose and uh, you know I'm gonna lose a, a lot of bees so this one's gonna be a patience test you can see down here in the bottom of this it was wet to begin with there were a lot of dead bees to begin with and uh, now since all that honey has fallen we just have uh, just a lump of soaking half crushed sticky messy bees uh, again maybe my queen is amongst them I am hoping she is not but it's going to make it even that much more difficult to find her now that this is the situation I'm dealing with. Again, bees just everywhere, completely stuck together and sticky. Fortunately, when I get done, I'm going to be able to hose this whole space out and get all the sticky out of it and clean it up. But it's going to be a little bit of time before I'm able to, to really get into this. Um, I'm half tempted to just try to find the queen and get this over with and let it be what it's going to be. You know, some of these are not storybook cutouts. They're not, you know, there isn't always a happy ending to these, uh, unfortunately. This being the case with this one, partially because I believe they built onto this vinyl. This is all vinyl. Uh, PV, I'm sorry, PVC sheet goods. This stuff's $125 a sheet. There's about a sheet worth here. So I'm doing everything in my power to replace that without having to, or, you know, reinstall it without having to replace it because I'd rather not drop another $125 and have to pull saws out and do all that kind of stuff uh, for this re removal. What I thought was going to be kind of easy and quick is going to probably be a few extra, maybe an extra hour or two just to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best service to the bees that I can as well as to my client. You know, these services are not cheap. Uh, it's a specialized service. I do the full scope of the work from start to finish, including repairs. So I get a premium rate, but... As you can see, sometimes it is not, it's not great. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's dirty, sometimes it's high up, sometimes it is just messy like this one here. So I'm gonna give them some more time, let them clean up a bit. These bees are starting to be a little bit more active. They're getting, getting themselves cleaned up. And uh, I might be able to salvage some of this comb, but it's really soft. And at this point it's been it's fallen and it's been coated with honey, so I'll check back in soon.